You're right, guys. Welcome to Football and Fitness United. My name's James. And for all you guys that haven't visited the channel before and you're here for the first time, welcome. Um, you see the backdrop behind me has changed to a gym one. That means it's a gym-based video, right? So we also do fitness tips on this channel uh, as well as talking about football and United. So first in our gym series, and we're talking about fitness myths, right? So the biggest myths in the fitness industry. And we're starting off with an absolute doozy today that carbohydrates make you fat. Carbohydrates do not make you fat. I don't know how many times I can say it. Overconsumption of calories will make you gain weight. Overconsumption of carbohydrates, unless it results in a calorie surplus, will not make you gain weight, okay? This is something called the law of thermodynamics. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So that basically means you've got energy in here. So this is everything that you eat, everything that you drink, everything that you put in your body that has some kind of energy, right? You've then got energy out over here. So that's everything you expend. So you've got, that's four things, right? So I'll explain it in further detail, but it's your BMR, so your basal metabolic rate. You've got your NEAT, which is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Mm. You've got your EAT, which is your exercise activity thermogenesis. And you've got your TEF, which is the thermic effect of food. So all those four things combined make up mm. your total metabolic rate. And if that is higher than your calories in, you lose weight. If that is lower than your calories in, you gain weight. It's as simple as that. No one particular macro makes you gain fat. It's all to do with calories. I cannot stress that enough. I really, really can't. I don't understand when people are like, carbohydrates make you fat, fat makes you fat, too much protein, it's a waste, that makes you fat. No, it's calories, guys. Like, no matter how many times we all seem to say it, people still come up with questions. They're still looking for that magic formula. If you don't know what a calorie is or you've never tracked your calories, I strongly suggest everyone does it for like two or three weeks, okay? There's a free app. I'm not endorsed by them at all. I wish I was, but it's called My Fitness Pal, right? It's free. It's on the App Store. It's on Android, Play Store, all that kind of stuff. Download it. Basically, what it does is it gives you the calorific content and the macro content of every single food probably in the world. It's unbelievable. You can scan the barcode. It comes up straight away. You put in your serving size. So if you haven't got any food scales, I recommend you get some. And if you can do that for about two to three weeks, that will basically give you your calorie input for those days. And then what that allows you to do is basically use that in conjunction with the scales, weigh yourself daily and see if you're gaining or losing weight. And then you can figure out your maintenance calories. You can't figure out your calorific need based on any kind of calorie calculator online. They are all a guess. The only way of figuring out your maintenance is by taking in a certain calorie amount each day tracking it and then going off the result and making adjustments from there that is the only certified way that that works okay so if everyone could track their food for like two three weeks get some idea of what they're taking in don't use your output so don't use your apple watch or your samsung gear or whatever don't use that to tell you how many calories you burn and then think you can eat them back because you've burnt you know a thousand calories during your leg session which doesn't happen by the way they're out by about 50 to 60 percent a lot of the time so don't re-eat calories burned that it says on your watch it is not accurate just use them for a measure of intensity so if your watch says you burnt 700 calories today and you burnt 650 yesterday you've probably worked harder today that's a good thing use it as a yardstick for intensity do not use it as an absolute okay please do not use it as an absolute it does not work so yeah calories guys very simple all comes down to calories can't stress it enough. Calories in, calories out. Carbohydrates do not make you fat. Myth busted 101. Football and Fitness United. I've been James. Sorry about the rant. See you next time. <laughs>